Barrister Wike during a remark requested residents' patience during the road resurfacing, noting that progress often requires sacrifice. He urged Nigerians to trust President Tinubu's agenda, assuring them that these policies and programs were not intended to cause suffering. Additionally, Barrister Wiki praised the support of the National Assembly and the Area Council Chairman for their contributions to providing the FCT residents with the dividends of democracy. Let me thank our dear chairman of the various committees in charge of FCT, the Senate and the House of Reps for their support they have given to FCT since our assumption of office. Like they said, we have never lacked anything, and whatever we ask from them, they go all out to make sure we get it. And that is why we're able to carry out our functions without molestation, without hindrance. Engineer Shehu Hadi Ahmed, the Executive Secretary of the Federal Capital Development Authority, FCDA, assured residents that the project would be completed by May, covering a total of 57 kilometers across the three districts. Into Meitama District today, Meitama District and the other areas involved is covering a total of about 189 roads with a total length coverage of about 57 kilometers. It is a very, very serious long feat. Mr. Christopher Zaka Mekalongu, the council chairman of Abuja Municipal Area Council, highlighted the timely need for resurfacing the weak roads in Maitama due to their prolonged use. He also called on the minister to address the water supply issues in the Maitama district, as residents currently depend on boreholes for their water supply. I must point out that this Maitama district, though a very beautiful settlement, but has a very big challenge in the area of water supply, which need to be rescued and resolved so that the inhabitants can be relieved of digging boreholes. The Sapei of Gariki, Alhaji Usman Nga Kupi, commended the minister for his efforts in transforming the FCT's landscape and improving security. He pledged the traditional council's support and requested the completion of the Karashi to Apo Road to alleviate the traffic congestion along the route. We also pray and urge you, sir, that having inaugurated this project, we also appreciate the road, the completion of the road between Karashi and Apo Axis, so that to reduce the traffic which has been bothering us day, especially in the morning and evening hours. Ali Betara, chairman of the House Committee on FCT, and Ibrahim Bumay, chairman of the Senate Committee on FCT, assured the Minister of the continued support of the National Assembly. Notably, in 2023, the minister inaugurated similar projects covering 184 kilometers in Garki, Wuse and Asokoro districts, bringing the total number of resurfaced and rehabilitated roads in the city to over 373. Usman Katun Umar, Aso Television News.